No, it's got the cuts away. Okay. <laughs> He's busy. He's like, ah. You didn't even know what he said. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, I was going to say, but these boots are crap. Okay, okay. okay. It's a real football, yeah? You like it? Jeez. Oh, we are the big T's. Right for the team and the squad. We don't slip when we're out in the field. We stay up, never sleep on a job. And the fans want to know who's real. How many times have we beaten the stay up, never sleep on a job. And the fans want to know who's real. How many times have we beaten the odds? Too hot, we ain't got no chill. Back of the net, you know the deal. We are the big T's. Ride for the team and the squad. We don't slip when we're out in the field. We stay up, never sleep on a job. And the fans want to know who's real. How many times have we beaten the odds? Too hot, we ain't got no chill. Back of the net, big T's. Alright. Alright. Yeah. New Balance gave us the opportunity. We had um, the opportunity to go up to near Liverpool, Warrington, the day before, stayed up there. Yo, what's happening, guys? My name's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, and welcome to Beatty's TV. Um, then we had a whole day similar to what Jay was saying um, with, with the people that design boots. That's, that's their, their career, and yeah. we're sitting there talking to them, and they just went, there you go, go and create it. So what we're going to do, we're doing a quick teal. Adam's going to give you a brief overview of the two boots, just so you've kind of got an understanding of where they've come from, uh, how they're put together, just to give you an overview. Then we're going to spend the first hour just really kind of just sharing sort of questions, insight gathering if you like. So it'll be everything to how you feel about Baytees, your kind of personal style choices, the things that inspire you, inside and outside of football. Is this exactly what you had in mind, if not, we switch a few things. If everything is good, we make My name is uh, Luc Fissaro, and I'm a creative design manager for New Balance Football. And I actually uh, studied in London. I moved to London at the age of uh, 21. I did a Master of Art, and then after I moved to um, New Balance in Boston at the age of 24, I was working in innovation running. And mm -hmm. as of uh, 2018, I actually joined uh, the football category as a design manager. I was buzzing, bro. I was buzzing. When I, when I heard I was first going to make our boot, I was thinking that no one else has done it in it in the YouTube scene, so... How are you feeling? Tense, tense. We can't, we can't mess this up because everyone's going to be on top. Uh, we'll start off by just revisiting the Fiorum V6 in the first instance, talk you through what you're able to change. I hope sort of going through the first section and understanding the boot a bit more, you start to get a flavour for just how flexible this process is. So there's quite a lot of licence here, so I'd just say take advantage of it. Um, if you've got questions or you've got ideas, no matter how sort of wacky, outrageous they may seem, just put them on the table and we'll discuss how we potentially logistically make that happen. So to make sure we get everyone's ideas on board, what we've done is we had like, I think three focus groups mm. and the first two was just whoever wants to come, just come. And we literally, we literally got a white piece of paper it was all just drawing, literally just literally colouring books, like, <laughs> juicing some, some of them was a mad thing. Because we didn't want it to be just everyone that's there on the day. Yeah. Their ideas, we wanted everyone in the team. Everyone so, had to have a bit of input. Yeah, so we had all the ideas, people had amazing ideas, people had some suspect ideas. <laughs> but yeah, so we done that and then we took it to the day and from that it was so tough to figure out how to get our final product. Just explain a little bit of the possibilities that you have. So, you know, you can change that color, this you can add a graphic, or yeah. you can do like, for like uh, Adam just showed you the, the plate, you know, it's, uh, we use lasers to uh, remove the paint. Mm -hmm. So if you have like a sentence that you always use or a, a keyword that you guys yeah. have, you know, we can, we can add it. You know. In our videos, challenges, like we're just very like close. I just think we're just organic. We're yeah. not forced, like it's not, uh, I know it's a business, but it's more like a family based. Yeah. It's not like it's not like we started it because it was already big. It's like we all started from the ground, from the ground up. up yeah. uh, this is like the Coliseum, you know. It's like the Coliseum, where all the ballers from Newham, Essex, like Dagenham, Barking, Ilford, them places, everyone come here. We can show them the cages and that. This is everyone used to come and kick ball, man. And for us as a product team, it was really, really cool because not only we saw the environment that uh, you guys live in and the environment that surrounds you, but uh, I think what was super critical for us is to see 
how socially connected you are as a as a team. It's yeah. really a family of friends, and that was that was really critical for us to understand that. But now it's a sad it's a sad state to see actually. Back in the day, you'll see it packed out every cage, kids, people waiting outside to try and get on. Now it's all locked up, you know. So you know, there's not really anywhere kids can play. And if you want to get in, actually, you have to climb over. But now, if you can see, they put like what is that? Like some some barbed wire kind of prevention thing to to not let people climb over. So. My name's Imad Kartita, also known as the Boy Wonder. And right now, I'm in East London, Hackney, a big part of my footballing career over here. Madly Green, obviously Marshall is down there. And yeah, man, we're in East London, man. This is where it started, this is where the journey begun. Right now, we're at Hackney Marshes. This is where Beatty Sunday League started. This is where history was made. This is where five, well, sorry, five trophies were won. Forgot it's been that long, we ain't played football, man. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a shame. Even people like from where we are now, this area, they don't even want to come here in case, you know. Shut up! Yeah! <laughs> hey, man, man, man. Hey, man got me shook, you know. Shit! Where you come from? Um, I went flipping hospital, innit? Yeah. Like, what am I saying, though? <laughs> Bro, that got me shook, you know. That's like, what the f? Same. Big up Max. This is the first time I've, yeah. I've never seen Max. This is the first time I've seen. No, 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 this is the first time I've seen Max since he's come back from Romania, blood. So um, I remember people always knew that I was like a talent. I was I'm a talented footballer. So literally, I got a phone call from I think it was Musti. Cause me and Musti played Saturdays together when Musti was actually good. So we played Saturdays and Musti gave me the call and said, "Look, there's a game. Like, do you want to come and play?" It was, I didn't know it was about for Baytees or anything. I knew about Baytees, but I didn't think it was for Baytees. And we played against a game at Kicks against professional footballers near enough and bossed the game and then after that went to a challenge and it was like it was fate, won the first challenge I've ever been on and ever since then the boy won, there's just been the name from there innit. And also coming from here, like you can even feel, bro we used to come here yeah, I don't even lie to you, it might not be every day but four times in a week we're here just playing football, pinging the ball left and right, doing passing drills, bro like, yeah, we did this for hours, for, for yeah, time. Yeah, they took the goals, yeah, look at that. They even took they even took the goals out to deter kids from. Fam, look at look at look at the thing. But this is tough, you know. Yo, <laughs> you can't you can't penetrate this. Bro. Me, probably blacklisted from a lot of professional clubs due to attitude. But it's just like I've been around around town. I've been, I can name you thousands of professional clubs that I've signed to or been to. But just attitude didn't pay me off and. Still till now, I'm finding it hard to find the right mentality and attitude and dedication to go to that level. But Beatty's was just a another pathway for me to get into a into a place where I wanted to be. Coming was, from New York Cages to now you're a pro athlete. You know what I'm saying? That's mad because obviously I don't even lie, like Theo's inspiration, bro. Because Theo was, was one of my close boys to first make it, innit? So when he when he made it, yeah, I was like, raw, like Theo made it. I was gassed. I was like, yeah, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, when 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 friends make it, yeah, it should be like a motivational thing. It's not like, ah, oh, Theo made it. Like, why the fuck did Theo make it? It should be like, ah, oh, Theo, Theo can make it. Like, I can do it as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's not impossible type of thing, isn't it? That's what um, gave birth to those two stories that we had with those two boots, the Furon and the Tequila. Furon being more about representing your identity. What is Betis? Who is Betis? And, and what are your values? I would say the boot has to have personality in it. I think that's key and identity. I think they're the two elements that we want to stick to and just to represent us. So you can look at the boot and say, that's right, that's them. They didn't just like make us just like design some any dead boot. Like they gave yeah. us all the, gave us all all the materials. We, we had booklets stuff. there yeah, with different everything. materials and everything. Like you can have some reflective, you know, uh, when you have your, your phone, you know, like you put yeah. the flash yeah. on. Yeah, 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 we wanted that. We yeah. like that. Yeah, we really like the. Um, it's getting yeah. sent to him today. Hey, we're going to get some photos with it. Thanks. Can we take it out? Your heart, of course. Can we take it out? Oh, of course, are you? That's. The box is super. The box is super, super. See, I like the way it's two different colours as well. The, the soul plate. It just, yeah. yeah. That's possible in terms of the achievements. Yeah. Of what we, yeah. what we say and what we do on one boot. 
So like, whatever we say on the weekend, like, Jay Knight, you wanna play with me? Like everything, Fio, Ola, everything. Just put it on. So then it's just us, and then people know look, them. Even if they see the boot, they'll be like, that's Bay T's. Yeah, it's hard though. Yeah, my favourite, man. Yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not wearing them. This when the boots are created, I'm not wearing them. I'm keeping them. When Bay T's hit a milli, I'm slapping them on eBay. There's no idea or a scene you wanna do for the base. I think we've decided for the film is to be orange. You want to talk about yeah, so guys, I come up with that kind of orange. <laughs> Just saying, I got a word out. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I think he might buy the rights to the word orange. The, the first thing you're going to see is the colors. Uh, you have an orange body color with a lot of uh, gray and chrome. And this is because you guys des describe the colors that you see in in uh, East London. Yeah. Which are actually the, the colors you chose for Betis. And yeah. you guys talked about uh, gray weather and orange sunset, those are the yeah. two colors we get in, in New Han. That's the only yeah. two colors. So yeah. that's why we went with a orange body color. And then we added uh, shades of gray with, you know, chrome, silver, uh, reflective, uh, all this to represent more the, uh, the gray weather. Concrete is very available to us. Okay. And you so, see how this, should we put bees there instead? No, or? not bees. Bees, no. That look like it. Prints we want to add on top, and then after we go into the details, you know, like what is the color we want for the color, for the laces, for yeah. um, the plates, and then tiny details like sock liner and everything we can keep on the sides. Yeah, yeah. Another little, a little cookie that you'd have to pick them up to see is that we've got a map of East London. Um, obviously, we represent East London. Maybe, uh, as we discussed, you know, it was really important to show. It's London for you guys, and we came up with a super creative way of doing it with a, a chrome electroplated plate, and we used uh, laser engraving to reveal uh, the map of, of East London, and as you can see, uh, New York where you guys come from. So. Yeah, New is it? Sure. Is it? Yeah. Don't look historical in this. Not. Where is it? It's not there. <laughs> where is it? Not just the community, man, the culture, man, just, just to have a boot that represents East London in general, man, it's just, it's crazy like how you can have a boot that has every borough in reflective. Like, I would never thought that, that would be possible. But I was wearing basic boots when I was younger and now I got my, I got boots with my whole family's name on it and the Baytees family, re realistically, like on one boot, on laces. Like, pff, come on, man, who would ever thought that? Yeah, yeah, I can point out my house on this, you know. <laughs> got this right there. Uh, Bill, everyone knows his address, find it! <laughs> 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 yeah. From left will be. Yeah, just flip it round, then yeah. Because then we're actually celebrating East London. Right boot will have East, and then the left boot will have uh, London. We wanted to represent East London, so we even had East and London on each boot. So when you put it together, you see it says East London. And it was just that concrete effect again, like even when you touch it, you feel you feel it's not just a smooth material, it's like a bumpy, like yeah. a concrete feel. And then you have the New Balance signs, and Betis has always been about like vibes, chants. Yeah. So, we, so we incorporated our chants into the New Balance logo. We wanted to, to represent it on the boot. That's why you guys asked to have your, uh, your chants, the chants of the team on the Flying ND using a, a 3M reflective material. But then we also talk about how serious you are about football with all the silverware that you won. Um, and the eight times you won the league, so. Oh, wait. Jeez. The names on the laces. Where's my name, though? Marky Cav, Vinny, Josh, Wonderboy, Jan, Skinny Body, Q Longs. Hey, where's my name? And then the last last piece is probably my favorite piece of the, the boot is this uh, hang tag mm -hmm. of your Betty symbol. I really liked how Jenai explained the origin of that logo. I was yeah. um, interwoven B to talk about. Uh, the crossing of culture and what you, yeah. what unites the team, um, and that's why I think it was it was super important uh, to show the boot. So when I think about this boot, I I see that yes, um, Betis is about football, but it's also beyond that. Betis is about friendship. Mm -hmm. so. I'll bring it out. Okay, oh so my God, God. God that's nice. What do you guys What do you guys think of these? They're all right. They're Honestly, right. what do you think of them? Like eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah. yeah. So obviously here we got like the members of Betis on the laces. We got the different boroughs of London underneath, as you can see. If you put it together, it actually makes the map, innit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, out of 10, what are you saying? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Would you wear these? Would you wear these? Yeah, I'll wrap that. These ones, nah. 
obviously they're my favourite to look at, mm. but man wouldn't play with them. Man would be like, yo, man's just gonna to get me, mm. put them on a local pedestal. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not playing with them, I just watch them every time I wake up or something or before mm. a game and just like feel the boost and like, they're hard in it, but yeah, no one can touch. And then uh, we, we had an idea where one one of the booths is going to be very personal to Betis and then we're going to have a more sophisticated one with like, because we represent YouTube, we want to have like everyone's YouTube logos on the team. Just so, it's just just to show like we're all together. It's a community, it's a community and we, it basically helped us to get everything we got. Because if, if they weren't getting views and we weren't getting views, none of this would happen already. At the time when we met in Warrington, uh, BD said something that, that was really important. I think I'm just going to quote it. He said, We all have our, our differences, the way we dress, the things we like, everyone has their own views, but we all respect each other. And I think this was really, really key. That's why we came up with this story that we call Views. Uh, views as in staying true to who you are, no matter the differences. Views as in view counts in YouTube. Uh, that's your social media platform to express yourself. And then finally, views as in uh, sharing an authentic picture of Sunday League football. Okay. Yeah. So those colors, the blue and... Purple, yeah, I like those colors. Okay. The, the other thing that's... Um... So I'll talk about the colors a little bit. Uh, we have black, which is a combination of all colors. And then we have a really rich um, rainbow electroplated plate. We call that iridescent. And what's really interesting is that based on how and where you look at the plate, it looks completely different. And this is such a nice analogy yeah. of, of your team. You know, everybody has a different background. They have their own opinions and they can see things differently, but you guys all respect each other. And it yeah. works on the boot as, as a harmonious design. So, this was a really great analogy for the, the spirit of the team. Right, okay. well, then we have like the right and like ES2 squares. Oh, how are you feeling about this video, Jay? Oh, we wanted to put, put subscribe, like, comment. This, my idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I, your I idea, Clem and Ayers. Where's my iPhone? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's got Jay on it. <laughs> uh, so that's for Furon, and then when we come to Tekela, we have like a completely black base. VM Runway is a gradient of uh, triangles that represent the play button of YouTube. The plate is iridescent, the strike zone is iridescent. We have a matte black logo with uh, on the right foot is going to be a uh, gloss black print of uh, crop the out of the logo. Is, yeah, the name, yeah. And then on the right shoe is going to be uh, the names, names of the team, like repeating yeah. Yeah. pattern. Yeah. Um, for the uh, logo, in, sorry, for the foxing in the here is going to be the same iridescent finish. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have like eight lines of emboss. That's going to be the eight trophies that you have and the eight clubs of uh, the community. Reflecting the, the New Balance Beatty's hologram. Hologram badge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just giving you my honest feedback. I think you might fight with your iridescent foxing at the... Mm. At the this might be a bit much. Man, I'm an I'm a all black guy type of boots in it. So when I saw these ones, I was like, these ones have to be the ones that I'll be wearing. But my favorite player, I'll say the black ones. Just because it's a match they kind of be. Mm -hmm. I'll wear this every game. I'll wear it in league sessions. I'll wear it five sides. Do you know what I'm saying? Like crazy stuff. So like, I'll wear this every day. Yeah, now these, oh, these are hard, you know. Got the Beatty. Got the Beatty's there. This one, this one is banging more. Well, can't lie. Is it? You saw that one more? This one. Oh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> this one, this one's coming different yeah, still. Yeah. This one's lit. I like that one as well. Whoa. That's, 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 that's 11 out of 10. That's, that's 11 out of 10. You got a dunk, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Did you wear these now, yeah? Any day. Every Any day. day. All right, cool. Um, what do you like about them? What do you like about them? The color, the color. The design, the shape of it. The colors as well. Look at that. I, I like the you got, studs. You got the baities. Yeah, you got the baities here. Would that put you off? Nah. For example, because I know some, some people are like, you know when Ronaldo brings out boots and it says CR7, they don't really feel, feel it. They don't want to wear it, but... With the baities there, would that put you off or? Nah, nah. Especially that look. Oh, look. Oh, oh, nah. Bottom as well, nice. you know what I'm saying? You got, but you have to have tech to wear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to have tech to wear these, you know? Like, you have got tech there. Yeah. Like, I, I like them both. Like, this one represents more the culture. But you see me, I'm a, I'm a flair player. I like the colours on this one, but I don't like laces. As you know, I don't like tying my boots. So, these ones are more suited to me, but 
both of them are, are mad boots, man. If I could just put them both into one boot, then they probably have my perfect boot, man. It's crazy, man. You see someone in the pitch wearing a shirt like, Russ. You know what I mean? These, these, these boots are amazing, honestly. When I saw these, I was like, boys, well done. I went there to create them, but obviously I had a bit of input into like, you know, saying that, or well, all of us had input actually, saying what we would like on the beat. And I think the boys have like created to a T, so it's beautiful, man. For me, to be honest, it just shows that they put in their effort, they actually put in the hard work, so if you put in the hard work, obviously you can actually achieve your goals, to be honest. So yeah, it just gives me something to look forward to as in what they have, what they have done. Just start, started off from like a small group to like, now the bait, to be honest. So yeah, it just gives you something to look forward to in the future. Really. It just shows you the caliber of New Balance though, that we went there as being quite naive and yeah. with uh, <laughs> drawing on a piece of paper and, and they was able to create our idea into something so fantastic. Um, it just shows you the, the professionals we're working with and the brand that we're working yeah. with is that they're absolutely fantastic in themselves and we've got evidence for that now. Bruv, I don't think anyone's ever done it and I don't think no one will do it, man. Like, we're the first team to ever make our boot, bro, like, with our names on it and our charts and, like, East London on the back and all the boroughs, like, bro, no one's ever going to do this again, man. It's just, I think we're just making history. Every time we do something, it's organic, man. We're just making history as we go along. So, it's another one of those stepping stones where young kids coming from where we've come from. They don't even have to be from where we're from, generally. It could even be Brazil in the favelas and that. Do you know what I'm saying? So, them putting the work in, you can definitely achieve anything you like. For us to do stuff like this, like, you might not realise whilst you're doing it, but when you look back in like five, ten years, you're going to be like, what, I'm going to do with you, Balance? It's mad when you think of it. And when you look at it, and when you look at the other boots, like, this is probably like one of the best boots that I've probably seen, do you get what I'm saying? So amazing, man. Young kids going, hey, yo, have you, got, have you seen a new Métis boot? Like, that boot's cold. So I want, it, I want it to be accessible for everyone. I don't want it to be, you know, so overpriced where, because I know coming from where, I'm, where I come from, background, like, it's hard to get boots growing up. Like, I had to get boots from, like, you know, all the professional players and that. So I want it to be accessible for everyone. New balance, do you get it? Man, it just means like you don't have to be a professional footballer, you don't have to be earning mad money to get your own boots and your name on it, man. Anything's possible where Sunday League footballers, man. Yeah, man, it's one of the things that we can tick off as a, as a, as a brand, as a collective that we've accomplished. And like you said, like, not many people have done this. And it's great, isn't it? Look at them, black and orange. Probably there's other orange is the new black, so you get me? It's mad. Come together and do something we all enjoy, we all love, we're all friends. It was, it was like a no-brainer, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like um, where we started to where we are now, to be able to create our own boots, it just shows that nothing is impossible, you know what I'm saying? We never dreamt of like, not saying it was impossible, but we never dreamt of, yeah, we're gonna be able to create our own boot with New Balance, have a deal with New Balance, and or partnership, sorry, and you know, hard work, belief, you can get there, man, honestly. Is what you guys wrote on the sock liner. Uh, we asked you if you, you had a message to share about your community. And I'm going to quote what you wrote. You said, we are pushing to be the change we want to see in our communities. There is a power in numbers, a strength in unity. And we move as a family always. And this, I think, was, was so in harmony with the values of New Balance and New Balance football that it was, it was for me the, the best part of, the, of this project. So. I, we are the first team to come out and create our own boots. Um, we're, we're paving a, a pathway that, that others can look at and be inspired by and hopefully try and improve and, and be similar to ourselves and hopefully we're role models to the community that we're living in because this, this is big. Is There's it? no two ways about it. Um, this is something that five years ago has never been done before, let alone thought about. And we've come in and, and broke walls and we've undone doors. So, New Balance family, God, thank you guys. Thank Fantastic. You. That's, that's my word. Fantastic. Look like Dragon's Den, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, next step, <laughs> having, them, having them in store, literally, having them in store for people to purchase because. You're going to get a lot of people that are already supporting us and they've seen the boots, boots are nice as well, they're going to want to buy it as well. Um, the next step is having them in store. That's the next milestone in the, in, the, in, the, in the materialistic boot department type of thing, but as a whole, hitting, I know it sounds mad right now, but hitting a million subscribers, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe as on the boots. 
We're about 600 away from 50,000, man. So get us there. And from there, trust me, we're going to take off. You know, JT, you know, um, if you put the work in, in generally what you do in life is you put the work in, like, things like this will come along with the opportunity. So um, definitely I'll add high expectation. Maybe not boots, but something different, definitely. No, I ain't even seen it. Let me show you his gold if you Oh, shit. Hey! We got nice. We got these ones as well. I think like these are more up the street, like. Oh, oh. A new balance coming smoky with the beats, you know. Hey, look, look, look. Even got with the Bexley, Havering, Barking and Dagenham and that, London. Now, this, this is fun, you know. put both of them together to make a map, innit? Hey, look, you're pegging these days, though. Right! No, man, it's just a space. Huh? It's just a little face wash. It looks good, though. You're looking clear. I need to, um... What, face wash? You don't scrub your face, innit? No, it's not so many things. It's a, it's a, a bus with store. It's a soap free thing. Morning and night. Bro. No, it's just a soap free thing. Yeah. It's called seafood. It's a new thing. It's like a pump. Like, it looks like a hand. You know the, yeah. it looks like them, what do you call it? Them hand sanitizer. Yeah. Put boom boom, slap on your face. Ooh, I've gone. Cooked it. I've had it for two weeks. It's worked well. 